Hello party people, welcome to the channel. Today I thought it would be fun to do a little spring outfit ideas video. I've been doing a lot of haul videos recently but I haven't really done a lot of styling videos. And honestly I should probably like take a sec and stop spending so much money and just buying and buying and buying more clothes and actually like try to wear the clothes that I own. I swear to God, it doesn't matter how many clothes I buy, how often I buy clothes, I never have an outfit. I can never put together an outfit for the life of me. Another thing that I realized I do is when I buy things like online at the mall, I don't buy outfits. I buy just like singular items that I like because I'm also like super picky about all of my clothing items. Like if I don't absolutely love a clothing item that I bought, I will return it. And it's not often that I find something that I like absolutely love. So I don't know, when I'm shopping, I usually just buy like one little thing here, one little thing there, but I don't actually buy like outfits. So then when I bring the item home, I have nothing to wear it with. But I thought I would give myself a little challenge and put together some spring outfits for you guys. Most of the outfits I put together are from like recent haul videos, like recent clothing items that I purchased. And I tried to pick mostly things that are still available to purchase because I don't know, it feels kind of pointless to do like a styling video and then not be able to link the clothing. Like if you want to buy any part of the outfit, I really just wanted to style things that like you guys could actually go out and buy if you wanted to. So I'm pretty sure everything that I picked for this haul video is like readily available for purchase online or obviously maybe in store. And I'll also link everything below so it's like easy to find. I did find that when I was picking out outfits, my outfits are very heavily centered around denim. I wasn't even intentionally doing that, but I did notice. Your girl has a lot of denim pieces and I've been seeing a lot of denim items on Zara's website lately. I feel like denim was a big trend last year, but for me, denim's still in. I love like an all denim outfit, denim top, denim pants, denim shoes. Okay, maybe not denim shoes actually, <laughs> that's a little excessive. But Zara does have a denim purse right now that I really, really wanna buy because it's super cute. So yeah, this video is just kind of like an overall spring outfit idea video slash like how to style denim, all over denim, styling like spring trends because for me, denim is a big trend. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, throw together my little outfits that I picked out and give you some like shoe ideas. We're just gonna, we're gonna do the whole works. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, so here we have outfit number one. I've said this in multiple videos before. I cannot figure out a camera angle to show my full outfit. In order to do that, I would have to like turn my camera this way and this part of my apartment is not very aesthetically pleasing to look at. But yeah, so I'm gonna like try to show the shoes as best I can, show the full outfits, but it's just, it's not the easiest thing for me to do. But anyway, just to start with like the actual clothing, I actually wore this outfit to work this week, just like a random day in the office. And when I say I have never got so many compliments in my life, <laughs> Then when I wore this outfit, I'm not even joking. I wasn't even that excited about this outfit when I was going to work. You know, when you're like picking out an outfit and you're just like not obsessed with it, but you're like, whatever, I like ran out of time, I'm just gonna go. That was kind of this outfit for me. I wasn't expecting compliments. I was like, eh, it's fine, I could do better, but you know, it's all right. This outfit was a hit, okay? Especially because of the little denim vest. I love this little denim vest. It is so so cute got this at zara a couple months ago actually no i'm pretty sure i got it last summer so hopefully 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 it's still available if it's not i know that zara has like tons of denim vests right now actually like tons of stores have denim vests like denim vests are still the rage at the moment but i will try to find this exact vest online otherwise i'll link similar options but i absolutely love it i feel like it's so unique like the little buckles it's kind of like the top of overalls but you know it's just like a little crop top just to show you up close, you got like some of the pockets going on. I don't actually use them, but they are functional if you wanna, you know, put something in here. And then these are all functional. Like you could take these off if you wanted to. There's also buttons on the side. That's usually how I get this vest on is I just unbutton one of the sides to take it on and off. But yeah, underneath the vest, I just paired it with this Aritzia tank. This is their like contour crop tank something like that i'll link it down below obviously but it is also a little cropped tank but my pants are pretty high waisted so it is like work appropriate for me and i did pair it with these zara i think they're called the marine pant the zara marine pant and i'm pretty positive they still sell these pants and i'm also pretty sure they sell them in like multiple colors i only own them in the white but i think they're really cute i wear these to work all the time they're such an easy pant to style i feel like everybody 
everybody needs like a good pair of white pants to wear to work and i don't know if you can tell in the camera but they are like a jean material denim material i guess you could say and then this is just what the vest looks like in the back Pretty basic, but still like really cute, really simple. The Zara pants do have pockets in the back, but there aren't any pockets in the front, just as a little note. And I don't know if you can see, but the pants are like frayed at the bottom. They have like a raw edged hem. They're like a little frayed, which is a nice little detail. But yeah, I'm definitely a very neutral girly. I like to wear all white outfits, all black outfits with like a little pop of color. And then I just paired this outfit with my Adidas Gazelle shoes. I'm pretty sure these are the gazelles, which are my favorite sneakers for spring right now. Honestly, these are probably going to be my favorite sneakers for all of 2023. Like, I pretty much wear these sneakers every single day. I absolutely love them. Which, funny enough, the first time that I wore my gazelles to the office, I also got a lot of compliments on them. Mostly because people were like, how did you get those? Because they were sold out for months. And I turned on my email notifications so that I was notified when they went back in stock. And I literally like just so happened to check my email. And like five minutes prior, Adidas like emailed me that they went back in stock and I bought them immediately. And I'm pretty sure they were already out of stock within five minutes of me purchasing them. So I'm not sure if they're available right now. I'll still link them below, obviously. But definitely turn your email notifications on um, if they are sold out because that's like the easiest way to figure out, obviously, if they go back in stock. If you're not a sneaker girl, I also really like these sandals. I feel like these sandals would look really cute with this outfit. You know, they're a little matchy matchy with the white. I got these from Pepper Mayo and I love like the thick straps. I love the crossover effect. I love everything about these. I'm not even a big sandal person, but when I saw these online, I immediately went to buy them because I just think they are so cute. So yeah, I think this would be another like easy shoe to pair with this outfit. If you want something maybe a little bit more feminine or just like if it's a really hot day out and you don't really want to wear sneakers, you can throw these bad boys on. Okay, you guys. So kind of following in the inspo of the last outfit, I actually also wore this to work recently and I just love it. I don't know. I feel like it's so cute, so elevated. I also showed this dress in my most recent haul video. So if you want like more in depth info about the dress, you can watch that video, but I love it. I absolutely love it. This is like one of my favorite Zara purchases from the last year and it's definitely still available on the website so very exciting there and honestly i feel like this dress is so cute on its own you really don't need to dress it up a ton but i did pair it with my platform boots again i love platform boots with a mini dress or a mini skirt i just think it's like such a cute combo because it's kind of like feminine on top with the dress or a skirt and then like grungy on the bottom with the platform boots the other thing that i paired this dress with when i went to work was this little jacket which you guys i am obsessed with this jacket i got this for christmas for my boyfriend this was like my number one gift that i wanted for christmas on my wish list and it's basically just this little oversized denim jacket this is from matilda jerf's brand i think it's called jerf avenue and it's just this really cute cream denim jacket it's cinched at the bottom which i think is cute it's also cinched at the arm and i don't know i just feel like this outfit it's chill like there's not a ton going on but it's just like a chill cute little outfit and personally i love the light wash denim mixed with the cream denim i just think it looks Fresh. There's something about it. Mixing denim is also something I'm not afraid of. I'll mix different colors of denim all day long. I think it's so cute and it really can like elevate your outfit. But yeah, I don't know. Very simple. I don't know if this video is like too simple for a styling video. It's definitely more of just like an outfit idea video, but I'm very much the kind of person that doesn't wear like crazy outfits or tons of different things. Like, oh, I just want chill, easy things to throw on. And personally, I just think this outfit's really cute. Okay, guys, we're going a lot more chill with this outfit. I feel like this exact outfit combo is pretty much my work uniform at this point. I definitely wear a variation of this outfit at least twice a week, without a doubt. So on top, I have this nylon stretchy tee from Los Angeles Apparel, which I feel like that brand is so slept on. It quickly became one of my all-time favorite brands. They just have really, really great, like, essential basic tees. Oh, there's gardeners go again it's really loud isn't it <laughs> while the gardeners were kind of doing their thing i was trying to like set the camera angle up to show my shoes but this angle looks a little insane regardless i feel like finally i can at least just like show you the full outfit and then we'll revert back to the original frame <sighs> okay i'm back sorry they literally were mowing like right outside my window for several minutes and it was 
extremely loud. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna pause for a second. I just wanna show you my shoes with the fit. And this honestly isn't even the outfit to like show my shoes off and show the full outfit because it's a very boring outfit, but it's a very easy, simple outfit. So I got my Adidas Gazelle shoes on again. They're not Sambas, are they? No, I'm pretty sure they're the Gazelle shoes with the gray like tip, white stripes, obviously. I just got these on. Like I said, they're like my everyday sneaker. I literally wear them 24 seven. And then I got my Levi's baggy dad jeans on in black. I love these jeans. I'm usually a light wash denim person like dark jeans are not my thing but I'll do a black denim every once in a while and right now these are kind of my go-to pants and also I'm not really the kind of person that wears jeans a lot I wear a lot of denim obviously from this video but I'm not really a huge blue jean person just because they're not really super comfortable I find but this silhouette the baggy dad jean I mean they're just so relaxed and laid back that they're like very comfortable they do fit mid-rise so I feel like you know when something's super high-waisted sometimes it can be really restrictive but they're not restrictive at all and obviously like they're nice and baggy throughout the legs which I like so just like a really easy pant to throw on they're super super comfortable and they definitely fit a little bit more loose at the waistline I've noticed I even had to size down in these jeans for them to fit and they're still like a little loose i mean they're not really loose but they're definitely relaxed and comfortable yeah i don't know i just feel like they're an easy jean to throw on so already i got my favorite shoes my favorite pair of pants at the moment and then we got the nylon stretchy tees which i know i already kind of mentioned before this is from los angeles apparel i also own this tee in their charcoal color i'm pretty sure they call it off black but it's kind of like a black charcoaly color and yeah this is like the whole outfit very basic but it's just super easy to throw on and I feel like just the fact that this tee is like in this really pretty bright red color it kind of adds excitement to the outfit if I was wearing just the off black color I feel like this whole outfit would be very drab but I don't know I feel like just the fact that this is like such a bright color you kind of need the rest of the outfit to be chill for it to work and I just feel like it's just a nice chill outfit and then here we just have another version of the outfit but I'm wearing this tee from Aritzia same vibes as the other tee. I think the materials are slightly different, but it's like the same stretchy kind of look. I honestly think I like the Los Angeles apparel tee slightly more than this one. I don't know, it's kind of a toss up, but I really do love this blue color. I think it's so, so pretty. When I saw this blue color on Aritzia's website, I like wanted to buy it in every single version that I could. Cause you know, Aritzia does have like a lot of repeat colors. I just feel like this color looks really good with like blonde hair. The only thing I don't love about this tee is like the sleeve kind of caps out like that and my Los Angeles apparel tees don't do that. So that's the only reason I feel like I maybe like the Los Angeles apparel ones more, but I mean, it's so small, it really doesn't matter. Also, I'm pretty sure the Los Angeles apparel tee is $20, whereas this one is $30, I'm pretty sure, which they're both pretty affordable in my opinion, especially for Aritzia, like $30 for a tee at Aritzia is not bad and their quality is amazing. But if you do want a cheaper option, I would say maybe buy the Los Angeles apparel tee, but obviously it kind of depends on like what color you want to buy and for both tees they actually don't have a ton of color options especially for Aritzia because I feel like with Aritzia tops usually they have like 20 different color options and they're basic tops I'm pretty sure this top only has four or five color options and this is the only bright color they offer in this top the other colors are like white black and tan or something which is kind of similar to the Los Angeles apparel tee that bright red color I was wearing is really the only bright I'm pretty sure the other colors they have are the off black one that I also own and then they have like an army green color and I think like an ecru color like an off-white creamy color which that color doesn't really look good on my skin tone personally I wish they just had it in like a stark white color but yeah that's like my only qualm with these tops is I wish both brands offered more color options because I feel like I've been trying to find this version of like a stretchy tee everywhere I shop and the Aritzia and the Los Angeles apparel tees like are amazing I love the fabric I love the fit but I just wish they had more color options and personally for me in the springtime I'm still wearing my puffer jacket I'm a very cold person and depending where you live a lot of states are still very cold right now <laughs> even though it is spring even Los Angeles right now I mean it has been cold it's like finally starting to warm up but it's been pretty cold here's my little puffer jacket with the outfit very boring outfit I mean really not a lot going on but this really is like my everyday kind of look of most days I don't know, I just feel like it's cute. Cute and casual, and I absolutely love this puffer jacket. I got this at Zara multiple years ago. I'm pretty sure they don't have it anymore, but I'll check. All right, you guys, well, that was everything. I feel like I barely 
tried any outfits on and I'm literally exhausted. Like I cannot try another outfit on, taking pants off, putting new pants on. It is more tiring than you'd realize. So if you guys liked this video, definitely let me know in the comments and I will upload more like outfit idea type videos. Normally I just post like tons of haul videos from Zara and Aritzia, but I do have a ton of fun at doing these like styling videos. So definitely let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos and then I'll plan maybe like more outfits because I feel like this video I wore like three things. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.